vlog. Today is Sunday. I was planning on this video being a weekend in my life, but the past two days I just didn't get a lot of footage and some plans changed. So I was like, let's just do a Sunday vlog because Sundays are honestly my favorite day of the week. But Friday, Joe and I went apple picking. They had Granny Smith apples, which are great for baking. So I got a bunch of those. And then we went to downtown Palm Springs and shopped around, ate lunch, which was super nice. And then yesterday, I actually went to the gym for the first time since March. Um, there is an outdoor gym that I found, so everyone's wearing masks, everything is like spread out, everyone's like wiping down their machines before and after they're using them. So I felt safe working out there and I'm excited to get back into the gym. I felt like a kid on her first day of school. I was excited, I was nervous. <laughs> and then Ethan and I just hung out for the rest of the day. We did some stuff for lindsayray.co for merch, for our next merch drop. I know it's kind of been a super long process and you guys are like, where is the merch? It's coming. It's just, again, very long process and it's taking long, but for good reason. So we'll see that soon. But it's Sunday. You guys know Sundays go to the farmer's market. So I'm just going to eat my breakfast and then we will start getting ready for that. I'm also watching Selling Sunset. You guys, I started this three days ago or four days ago i'm already on season three episode eight is this the last episode oh my gosh this is the last episode i think i'm going i'm gonna finish watching it okay i'm gonna finish watching it this show is really good and i got hooked on it obviously i've been watching it 24 7. i'm gonna eat my breakfast so cheers drink your water with me right now let's take a sip of water together sister is thirsty oh my goodness show you guys a little outfit of the day my top is from zara my pants are revolve and then my sandals i have no idea where these are from they're super old but they're just these cute little sandals i haven't worn them in a while but i think they go perfect with this outfit because i don't really think tennis shoes will go with it i think this is more cute so that is the outfit and then i have my ray of sunshine bag i think i need to lean this out because i got a lot of stuff in it okay and then i'm wearing my crap eyewear sunglasses i think we might be picking up bella on our way there but i'm not really sure so I'll keep you guys updated but we're gonna leave right now thank you <laughs> Hi, friends. We did end up picking up Bella, so she's our little farmer's market buddy. And looking so cute as well. I love your colors. Thank you. I've never been to this farmer's market before, so let's see. Let's see what good things they got. Let's see what we're working with today. Imagine it's just terrible. Honestly, maybe. <laughs> Last week we got the orange ones from the farmer's market um, for my room and for the living room and then my mom asked my, like she felt bad so she asked my Nana if she wanted them and she was like, I already have two bouquets of flowers but sure. And then my mom was like, I was hoping she said no so I could have some flowers. <laughs> but now you have your own and these are, these are so much better than the ones we got. They look so like big and pretty. I'll show you guys the rest of the stuff when we get home but I can't wait to show you this. We found my new favorite place it is called Raw Cane Super Juice, right? Super Juice or just Raw Cane? I think it's just like Raw Cane. Everyone needs this in their life. Like this literally has, this one has two ingredients. I think they all have like two, only two ingredients. Yeah. 
So I got two of them, and I think this one has three ingredients, and then this has two ingredients. This is raw cane juice, lime, and chlorophyll, and then this one is raw cane juice and lemon. I got this. I got a small one in this one. Oh my God, this is the, the alkalizer, right? Mm -hmm. Beauty boost, right cell regenerator. Cucumber. So it says drink it as an energy drink, use it as a vitamin supplement, complete chains of amino acid, use as a muscle booster in your smoothies, freeze it into ice cubes and serve in a sports drink, cleanse your liver, kidneys, blood, urinary, and intestinal tract, see your skin, hair, and eyes glowing. You said it's a natural sunscreen, didn't she say Yes, that? this one she said is a natural sunscreen, which I was like... That's what she said? I yes. must have blacked out. Because <laughs> I always forget to put on sunscreen, so... I could just drink it. Work. Which ones did you get? The lemon mm -hmm. and the alcohol. Oh, we all got the same ones. Mm -hmm. No, I also But they got were the green. all good. Oh, you got the Oops. green. green oh, juice. she got the ginger. Oh my gosh, my mom went off. Oh, mom. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Mom said health as well. Yes. Right? She's like, I'm in it. I love this place. This one's a ginger lime one, which was really good. Like, the ginger didn't hit you until the end, but it was like really mm -hmm. smooth. Punch. Yeah. This one is raw cane juice, lemon, ginger, and cayenne. You guys, I've never had like cayenne in my juice that like hits you that much. I was like oh, a little. Oh, that was so spicy. I, That's why I got the small one. Yeah. And then she gave us cane sugar straws. Is that what they were? Mm -hmm. How is it, Bells? I actually have no flavor at all. Oh, it doesn't? No. Straws make it a whole different experience. Oh, honestly, yes. Trader Joe's, here we come. I turned Bella into a, a Trader Joe's person, so we're going back. We're taking her back. We need to get stuff to make a cheese board for later because we're having a little barbecue later. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how we make our cheese boards, which would be super fun. And I get everything from Trader Joe's because they are amazing for cheese boards because they have like bigger cheeses, smaller cheeses, different sizes, different prices, and they got everything that you need. You know, multiple choices. It's really the place to go for a charcuterie board. Are you gonna hold the whatever you want? So Bella. Okay. She's asking me a question, guys, if you. I'm proposing a possible thing to you. Okay. I'm so nervous. So Thanksgiving's coming up. Thanksgiving's coming up. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, it's around the corner. Holiday season? Holiday season. And you know, since we're such a pair in the kitchen. Oh. We should a do pair in the kitchen. a full on Thanksgiving dinner with dessert. <laughs> you? I'm telling you, we are the same person. Yeah. I just texted my sister this last week. <gasps> what would you say? I was like, I want to make a full Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, we're going to. We're going to have to. Oh my God, that is literally Let's amazing. Do a full dinner turkey let's do it or we could do chicken like the you full want. entire Honestly, thing let's probably do the my chicken recipe because that's so much easier and smaller and you know we're only two we're two little chicks we're two little chicks i fully support that and i'm really excited we literally this was literally parked last time thanks yeah except i did a worse parking job than okay that's how bye guys up. yeah we'll be in trader joe's in three two one <laughs> So we have a small little farmer's market haul, but we got some asparagus, the green onion, because I like to put green onion in my tuna salad, red bell pepper. Did you get this for today or for like chili or just yeah, whatever? for like whatever, like chili or whatever. And then we got like all different plums and plum pots or pluots. We didn't know which ones to get, so I just had the guy like choose for us. But I need to look back at the footage to see exactly which one is which I know he said this one, the inside is really good, but the outside's very tangy. And I don't know, I'm excited to try these. And then we got some salsa and then dapple dandy pluot jam or plum cot jam. I'm super excited to try this. Low sugar. And then we got our juices, flowers. He's about to look at the flowers. And then I will probably start making the charcuterie board soon. So I'll show you guys everything we got for that and like how I put it together and everything. But I'm excited for this. Are you excited, Roxy? Oh, whoa. All right, time to make our cheese board. 
This is my favorite brie cheese from Trader Joe's. It is the triple cream brie cheese. And then we got cheddar English with caramelized onion, goat cheese with honey. And lastly, Bella said this one was good. It was It's a Toscano cheese. It's soaked in wine. So she said it tastes amazing. So we got that one. Then we got some cornetions, I guess. Roasted salted truffle Marcona almonds. These are delicious. Oh, I also have this little sampler. I don't know. I thought it sounded good. These are my favorite crackers from Trader Joe's, the fig and olive crisps. As for meats, we got spicy charcuterie selection and prosciutto. Amazing. And everything is basically from Trader Joe's. That is like my go-to place for my charcuterie boards. Time to put her together. My cheese board is Nana approved. Very. The only opinion that matters. That's right. <laughs> Don't you forget that. Don't you forget that. Let me enjoy my own masterpiece for a second, okay? These are the best on a cheese board. Like, I love the fig and olive crackers, but the bread is where it's at. The bread is, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That cheese is amazing. This is the one that's soaked in wine. I forgot to show you guys, I also got the French baguette, that's a little mm. bread. And this is literally two bucks at Trader Joe's, and you get enough for a while. This could be, half of it could be for your cheese board, the other half can be for a dinner. What do you think, Nana? Mm-hmm. 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 Send me pictures of your charcuterie boards. Charcucci boards. Delicious. <laughs> Why, you want sour crust? <laughs> Sparkling water in a wine glass because we're fancy. I used to always, I, I still do. In a wine glass? In a wine glass? Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's eat. We're just relaxing right now, but we almost went back to the Capazon outlets because I found two gorgeous bags. One of them I am seriously considering buying and I want so bad. It's a Prada bag. You guys know that right before quarantine, I bought myself my first designer bag, which was Prada bag. I am so in love with this bag. I'm obsessed with this bag, but with the clothes that I wear, and I wear all gold jewelry, and I wear neutral colors. My bag doesn't go with a lot of my outfits, and I feel like for it being a Prada bag, it being expensive, I want to get my money's worth out of it, and I feel like right now, I'm not. I'm thinking about selling it and getting 
this other bag i will try to show you guys pictures of it i was trying to take pictures in the store i wasn't sure but we debated on going back but they closed at six i thought they closed at eight that's what it says online but yeah but it's six right but it's six so it's liars <laughs> liars it wasn't meant to be today but obviously i'll keep you guys updated if i end up selling my bag and getting that one but anyways as you guys saw on friday we went apple picking and we got some granny smith apples which are the best for baking so i'm thinking let's do a little sunday night baking i really want to make an apple crisp but like a healthier version so i will show you guys the recipe it is delicious it is so amazing i know in like mostly all my videos i'm like trying something eating something giving you guys recipe but you know i just love food so it's just like a common theme in my videos but i'm gonna give you guys this apple crisp recipe it is so delicious and i can't wait to see if you guys make it too and if you like it and i'm excited to see if these apples we picked on friday taste good because i think that they will so I think this is one of my favorite segments of the vlogs where I just bake and share recipes with you guys. I feel like this is such a like relaxing thing to do at the end of the night. Make a little dessert, enjoy it, and then relax. 10 out of 10, recommend. And I definitely recommend this dessert. It's amazing, it's delicious. So here's everything you need. Rolled oats, flour, maple syrup, cinnamon, arrowroot powder vegan butter brown sugar a little bit of salt and the most important thing apples that's basically everything we need very simple simple ingredients and super easy to make so first things first we got to prepare the apples i'm going to peel them decor them and then also slice them into really thin slices then we will start making the filling okay i kind of made a lot of apples for this tiny little pan so we'll see how much i use but now it's time for a filling because we want it to sit and like soak in the mixture while we make the topping and then assemble it all together we're gonna need a third cup of maple syrup a teaspoon of cinnamon and instead of a vanilla extract, I'm going to use the Trader Joe's vanilla bean paste. And I'm going to use about kind of like a fourth of a teaspoon, a little more than that. And then to make it a little bit thicker and not so runny because of the maple syrup, I'm going to take arrowroot flour. Since I'm only using about three apples, three or four, I'm going to put in a teaspoon of this and mix it all together. I'm going to let that sit for like five, ten minutes. Half a cup roll. Someone is upset. Half a cup of rolled oats. <laughs> a third cup of flour. Third cup of brown sugar. Fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. Fourth a teaspoon of salt. And now we need a fourth cup of butter. There you go. The best way to do this is actually to just crumble it with your hand. So just go in. I'm going to put that in the fridge and grab the apples. Time to put her in the oven at 350 for 55 minutes. I am going to go do some homework now and probably start editing this video so it could be up tomorrow. And then I'll see you guys in 55 minutes. Good. I used the Trader Joe's vanilla ice cream that is made with almonds, so it's dairy free. And look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh. Mm. 
she knows what's up bro oh my goodness guys i think i might like this better with the granny smith apples because the honey crisp are so sweet so with the maple syrup then you have the brown sugar next thing you know it's a pretty sweet dessert so but with this it like evens it out and it's just like the perfect sweet but not too sweet then you got the warm dessert with the cold ice cream you got the crunchy you got the soft it is the most perfect dessert ever and if i haven't convinced you yet that you need to try this i mean like amazing all right you guys well i finished my homework but now i need to get to editing this video and i need to wash my face get ready for bed i am so tired and tomorrow i have a dentist appointment which i'm not looking forward to so i want to get a good night's rest as well let me know if you guys end up making the apple crisp or if you follow my little guide to my charcuterie boards let me know and i would love to see your guys's pictures of all of them so tag me over on instagram or dm me your pictures i really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this little sunday vlog this little day in my life and i will see you guys in my next video or somewhere else on my social medias don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok subscribe if you have not already so love you guys so much bye